Hey, good morning. Hope everybody is having an amazing Saturday morning. This morning, I uh, decided to take a drive up here to the mountains a little bit on the edge of Utah County, and it's a beautiful view from up here. Here, check it out. Okay, isn't that an amazing view? It's pretty incredible. Not as amazing as if I was on top of the mountain, though. But anyway, I'm not going to do that today. It's a bit rainy and muddy, and that doesn't sound like fun to me right now. Anyway, I um, hope everybody's having an amazing weekend so far. I know it's Saturday morning, so you haven't really started yet. Um, but hopefully you have some fun plans today. If you have any fun plans, go and have fun and enjoy. Anyway... I am up here um, just thinking about last week and how last week went, um, some of the things that I was able to do, some of the things that I wasn't able to do. Um, last week was a little bit overwhelming because I had so many different things going on and just trying to give the appropriate attention and um, priority to all the different areas is pretty frustrating sometimes. Um but I guess that is the life of um, small business ownership. Um, and as a parent um, and being married, and there's so many things going on, um, it gets a little bit crazy. So anyway, I like coming up here and just kind of reviewing over last week and trying to figure out what my plan is um, for the upcoming week. Um, this next week is super exciting. I'm speaking at Creative Collaborative on Tuesday. There's a link in my social media profile. Um, actually, not in my profile, but um, through my post in there. Um, or head to Creative Collaborative's Instagram page or Facebook page. Um, for those of you that are outside of Utah, they're actually going to be broadcasting it live on Facebook, which is really exciting. And I'll be speaking on a topic of resilience. And in context with my journey, um, building my business over the last nine years, and I'm going to be talking um, about resilience and about, you know, what I've experienced over the years and what resilience means to me and, and how I have been resilient um, on many occasions um, and how sometimes that's really hard to be resilient because um, really it's resilience is being able to withstand um, catastrophes that happen in your life and things that are hard and being able to rebound back from that um, and learning from those experiences. Anyway, so many things. I'm excited though. I've started my my presentation um, and I'm just kind of thinking about it this weekend and sending it off on Monday and then presenting on Tuesday. So I'm super excited. Um, so if you're here local, come see it. It's at Hive Collective or Collaborative. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and it's here in Provo, Utah. Um, come check it out. And other than that too, like I've got some other things going on this next week too. I've got a couple cakes going on. Um, over the weekend and really excited about that. I haven't done a custom cake for a little while, so I'm super, super excited about that. Um, other than that, it's just juggling all of the different things that I have going on. I think one of the other things is I'm trying to do so many things right now. I'm trying to grow Cake Creation Studio. I'm trying to start this um, bakery coaching business and I got my website up and all those kind of things, but it's back to that appropriate, appropriate attention to all these different areas. And so I think that's where um, some intense <clears throat> scheduling planning is going to have to come in um, just to be able to make sure that I can accomplish all those different things. So I have some pretty big goals on things that I want to accomplish, um, but it takes, you know, it takes dedication and it takes resilience as I'm going to be talking about this next week. Anyway, um, hope you're all having an amazing week. I'm trying to think of anything else to share today. Um, this is going to be going on my, um, YouTube, um, weekly vlog video and, um, 
this is vertical this time. And I decided to do that so that I could share this multiple places easily. And we'll just try it out for this week and see. I don't know. Um, I Mainly, I just restarted recording in vertical um, in portrait mode instead of landscape. So anyway, I um, hope you're all having an amazing day and I hope you have an amazing weekend. And remember, if you are a bakery business owner, um, whether small or big, I can help you through some a lot of issues. Um, and it really comes down to the thought work. I was writing some things down and actually I was about to say goodbye, but I guess I'm not. Um, I wrote down some things the other day and like, I'm here to be able to share with you of everything, all the different experiences that I have had when it comes to my bakery business journey. I started nine years ago and it has been quite the journey. And there's so many things I've learned, so many things I can share, but one of the most important things that I am here for as a coach is to help you with your own mind drama. Because let's face it, if like you can know exactly how to do something, but that doesn't help you do that thing. Because once you decide and know how to do that thing, before you knew it, it was an excuse of, oh, I don't know how to do that. But once you learn how to do it, there's still an issue there. That doesn't necessarily fix anything. Because once you actually learn how to price your cakes properly, then, as an example, then you're going to have thoughts come up of, oh, that's too much. Oh, my customer's not going to pay for it. Am I worth it? All those kind of questions that come up. And then you start doubting and second guessing yourself and being overwhelmed and confused. And that's where I can step in and help. Because from a thought work standpoint, that is what life coaching is. That is what coaching is. That's what I'm here to help you do. Everybody, you have that power in your mind and your thoughts to be able to help you. And I know that may sound weird and bizarre. And I thought so too, when I first heard like, and was exposed to life coach thought work stuff is I was like, yeah, that's a bunch of bull crap. Um, which is so funny because then I went on and learned about it and went and got certified through the life coach school. And this has changed my life. It literally has changed my life and the way that I think, the way that I process my feelings and emotions um, and allowing myself to feel and process emotions. I think for so long, you know, I I usually suppress those kind of things, right? And I think, um, especially as men, I think we're like kind of told quietly, um, or loudly through media, I guess, and other things, um, that we should just like suck it up and just, you know, move on with our lives. And you know, that like certain, like different feelings aren't manly feelings or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think I've always, I think I've always like suppressed some of those, um, feelings of disappointment and the things that, um, like really get me down. And I usually just push him aside and be like, Oh, nope, not going to feel that. I'm just going to push it aside and just keep barreling on. And of course, like you're going to keep barreling on and you're going to keep going through things. But if you, if you have a disappointment or a failure or something you're sad about, and you don't take time to actually process and feel that emotion and process that emotion, it's in there somewhere. Like, and it's going to be bottled up. And if it's a frustration or an anger or whatever it may be, it's going to be bottled up in there and it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you in any way to be able to get to the goals that you're trying to work towards. So that's what I'm here for as a coach is to help you work through your mind drama that comes up and cause it's going to come up whether you believe it or not, it's going to come up and I am here to help you through that. And so with that said, you know, I do say I'm a bakery business coach, but if you're any type of business owner, any type of, you know, any kind of project you're trying to work on to accomplish, like you're going to hit issues and you're going to hit discouragement and overwhelm and confusion. And you're going to wonder how in the world you're supposed to deal with it. And 
I can help you through. I can help coach you through. And that's something that, you know, most people um, could really benefit from. And anyway, that's my me on my pedestal sales pitch today. Um, head to my website if you want a free coaching session, 20 minutes, and we can chat about what you got going on. Um, and I can share with you some things that I um, feel like would help your situation. Um, anyway, that's it for this week. Hope you have an amazing week and we'll 